young girl, I really knew inside. So it's a color sensor that picks up the light frequency and then it sends the light frequency to a chip. The chip transposes this light frequency to sound so that I can hear the different sounds for each color. And then I hear this through bone conduction. So there's a kind of vibration that goes to my inner ear. So it's um, more of a vibration that has a secondary effect that I can hear. There's no comparison with, with any other sense. So it's the it's a new sense that allows me to perceive color, but it's different from sound because if I was deaf, I could still perceive color through the vibrations and it's independent from sight because uh, I can perceive colors that I'm not looking at. So it's an independent sense of color and a new body part, which is an antenna. But yeah, that has consequences in society that every day in my life I get stopped or laughed at because I have an antenna, but perceiving color and extending my perception of reality is much more important than all this social reaction. We have to start treating technology as something normal and even technology as a body part, some of us, uh, technology is us, not as something external. And I think the union between humans and technology is inevitable and that we'll slowly have to start accepting that we'll be seeing people with new body parts and new senses very, very soon. And it, it's uh, just a matter of time.